What's up, fam? It's your boy Al. It's a Tuesday here in Houston. I'm actually off today. Thank the Lord. Um, so I want to get down on some of this Will and Jada action. Not in a way that a lot of people would think. Um, I know a lot of people have been going in on Jada, and that may be fair. It may not be fair. Um, we don't know where her um, statements are coming from. We don't know what prompted her to be so open with other people about her marriage, her bedroom life or whatever. Of course, we know the history of what she did with August Alcina, what she's being accused to have done with one of the rappers from Criss Cross. He was like 14 or 15. That can't be confirmed, especially since this man is dead. So I think if you don't know, don't know, no, no. Um, you should leave that alone. But here's what I see in the Will and Jada saga. I see what I've always believed as a man of God, and that is a marriage that has everything it seemingly should have without Christ still won't bring you happiness. You look at Will and Jay, when I when I when I first saw them them together and they getting married, I was like, wow, what a match made in heaven. Two successful young black people. Both good looking, both young. How can this not be anything but a match made in heaven? I saw them having endless resources, finances. They had two beautiful children together. But one thing that is known is that Will is in a practicing believer in Christ. Jada is in a practicing believer in Christ. And I don't care how much or how many resources you bring to the table, how on paper it looks like this has to work. Has to. Look at them. Look at what they have. They're both in the same line of work. How can this not work? And how it cannot work is that there is no Christ. Here's what people fail to realize when looking at marriage from a biblical perspective. That the entire union, when Paul is talking about marriage in scripture, the entire union a man's love for a wife, a, love, a wife's love and submission to her husband is all framed around a relationship with Christ. He says, husbands, he says, first he says, wives, submit yourselves to your husband as unto the Lord. And what he's saying there is submit yourselves to your husband as you submitted under Christ. And as you submitted under Christ, you've seen the benefits of of submitting under Christ. So shall you see the same benefits that you've seen under Christ are similar. You won't see the exact same benefits because your husband will bring you salvation. But the same way you've said to Christ, I'm going to submit to you and boom, my life has been changed anew. Submit yourself to your husband as you've done that to reap similar in the marriage realm benefits. Women ask all the time, how, how can I submit to I can't submit to this man. I can't I can't submit a man say all the time. I can't sub get my wife to submit, get submit. If she doesn't know submission to Christ, then she can't submit to you. That's just like men, young boys who've grown up without a father can't submit to a male authority. Police officer otherwise. They don't know what that is. They don't know what that means. They have no ident ident identity of that. They have no no realm of what that means. <clears throat> So too does the woman who has no idea of what it means to submit to Christ. She has no, you can try to submit without Christ in a world that will have, give you worldly perspective, worldly backlash and an insight, and it will be problematic because the world will push back on something that they don't understand. You could be a woman looking to submit to your husband 
and if you're outside of Christ and you have no no relationship with him, your friends will come in and ravage what you're trying to do. And it will work because you have no insight to what that kind of love and submission is. And so when people, men think that I have to be this to get my wife to submit, rich to get us to submit, I have to be famous, I have to be sexy, I have to be handsome, I have to be fine to have her to submit. Nope, nobody, nope, 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 nope. What you have to have to get your wife to submit is a woman who has already submitted to the Savior because she knows what it means to submit and she knows what it means to benefit from submission. No one will submit who they do not know that there's a benefit from it. No one will submit if they have not seen a benefit from submitting. The only people who can submit in any way are people who've seen a benefit from submitting. Submitting to parents was easy when you know submitting to your parents got you food on your table, clothes on your back, Jordans on your feet when you were, you know, did right, toys on the Christmas tree, toys, you know, in your room. Playstations, Nintendos, you could submit to your parents because you knew submitting brought you not just benefits, but a, a neglect to submit brought you a negative response. Right? So when you equate that to marriage and you don't know what it means to submit to Christ, you don't know how to submit to a man because you haven't seen the, the positive benefits of submitting. And to take that further, you haven't felt the repercussions of not submitting. What has Jada's repercussions been of what she's done to Will? What has been her repercussions? Have extramarital affairs airing him out? Where's all people? And I don't know what goes on inside their marriage. I don't know what goes on. I don't know what he's done. You know, a lot of people suspect that every Hollywood star that he's done a movie with, he slept with. That may be the case. That may not be. But what we I do know is that if you have not experienced a love and a submission to Christ as a woman, you cannot submit to a man long term through the ups and downs of thick and the thick and the thin. And then you flip that coin over for me and it says, love your wives as Christ loved the church. Christ died for the church. He gave up of himself for the church. So as a man, the Bible is telling us to give up certain things with that love causes you to give up, to surrender, to submit in your own way to your wife, the things that you would rather do. Surrender. Love her as Christ loved the church. How can you love her as Christ loved the church? You have to experience the love of Christ that he gave to the church. You have to know what he did for the church. Knowing what he did for the church and experiencing the benefits of what he did again for the church. Once you understand that as a man, you can love your wife as Christ loved the church. You have to have those two things in a marriage for them. You can have all the money, all the finances, all the resources, the most beautiful children. We've seen some marriages that didn't last. That you're looking like, what? Wait, what? They breaking up? How? No Christ. Everything else, good looks, beauty, success, fame, fortune, no Christ. Why do you need Christ? Because it's too hard in this world, in this Western civilization, with so much plucking and pecking at you there is too much to distract you and make you quit on traditional love if you didn't have Christ as a sinner too much we see all the time these people who seemingly have it all look at Jay-Z and Beyonce they went to a, through a phase they worked it out we don't know for how long or what or in what ways they worked it out but Beyonce one of the most beautiful women in the world and Jay-Z and their marriage was on the rocks. He cheated on her. Like, all that they had, all that he had, and, and this woman, a woman that most dudes would like literally jump off a cliff for. You got her and you still got to step out on her. Like, there is just something that is designed to be incomplete in trying to live life without God, trying to live life without Christ.
Again, neither one of them practicing Christians. She, uh, Beyonce grew up a Christian, but she she ain't practicing right now. Um, there is there is a design that God has implemented into the world that trying to avoid or him and devoid your situation of him will lead to misery with money, without money, with beautiful people, without beautiful people, it will lead to misery. And from that on the outside looking in, Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith's situation looks like a situation of pure misery. The looks on their faces when they're sitting talking to each other in that in that in that infamous interview. Um it just seemed like miserable people. And I believe that this is their marriage and there are several others that are evidence of what trying to use every other resource you have to bring happiness to a marriage without Christ will bring you. It will bring you the illusion, the delusion of happiness. And over time, you find yourself doing things in situations that you never would have thought yourself in because you thought that everything you had was enough to maintain happiness in a marriage. But without Christ, nope, cannot do it. You cannot maintain happiness in a marriage without a relationship with God, without a relationship with Christ. I don't care how, why do you think you have all these YouTube channels now of people trying to dissect relationships? Why do you think that we have thousands of YouTubers who are make, making thousands of dollars with thousands of subscribers with relationship advice and relationship this and relationship that is because everybody is trying to get around having a relationship with the Lord. You need this, you need that toxic male, toxic hiring them in, low value, all of this stuff. And you know what the common thread on all of those channels is? Nobody mentions a relationship with the Lord. They mention all these other things. And they'll keep going in circles and going in circles and have a discussion after discussion and topic after topic. You can be Kevin Samuels. You can be Ayanna Vance. You can be whoever you want to be. You will keep going in circles with people until people realize I can't find happiness until I found happiness in Christ because the marriage is defined by happiness in him. Relationship with him. And I don't care how you slice that. We can keep having three men sit on this side. Three women sit over there. Uh, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? This, that, that, and the third. I mean, if it if if it ain't surrounded and 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 wrapped and shrouded in the love of Christ, this thing's just gonna keep going in circles. So my advice to anybody: before you find a man, find him, find Christ. Before you find a woman, find Christ, and you will find yourself in a situation where you cannot compromise. Because to experience a love like that is, is to experience a love that can't be compromised. People want to know what the blueprint for a happy relationship is. The blueprint is the love of Christ. If you can't experience a love with the partner that you experience with Christ, then it is not a love worth having. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but that's what I got. I'm not going to spend time in, uh, is she doing this? Is she doing that? Is she wrong? Uh, I think we know she's wrong because, you know, a, a woman, Bible tells us a, 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 a honorable woman keeps her home. That means not just keeps her children, keeps her home clean, but keeps what's going on in her home, in her home. She don't go blasting it to the world. So we already know, you know, a virtuous woman keeps her home. Keeps, she don't, she don't blast her, her business. So we know she's wrong, um, but we don't necessarily know he's right either. But one thing I do know is that when you ain't living in Christ, your marriage ain't, it, it isn't going to live long. It may live a few years. It may stay officially a marriage, but it may be internal chaos. And that's what I see in this marriage, internal chaos. You may agree with me. You may disagree with me. Tell me what you think. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, tell the people about your boy. We can talk it up over here. You want to know about the Lord? You want to know about relationships? What we're getting into is just that. Holla at your boy. Peace.